specimen books who are sold type, they also sold equipment. So the equipment, a coin, spelled Q-U-O-I-N, mm -hmm. uh, was actually a, a wedge for locking up the type. So we have these in the shop. And so the coin key, basically, this would go into the edge of the type and you turn it and it basically widens it up. So it locks everything oh. in place. So these companies would sell this. Again, I, it's British money, so I can't laugh at how, le how, how, much, right. how little that sounds like. Uh, money wise but so these pieces of equipment and then we've decided to sort of make our own uh equipment uh in, in pieces of and one thing we've <laughs> done is we've come out with these modular blocks which are actually used in printmaking classes uh, a lot of colleges and schools so basically there's just eight different shapes this is just one shape and variations of the shape so with these semicircles, you could actually create the letter S. Wow! Or the letter, or O's, or, uh, and then obviously letters like H and I and straight up and down, those are easier. Those, uh, those are just different blocks. But this is something we've, we've put together and actually had um, uh, injection molding made in Leroy, New York. There's a company that does injection molding there. And so uh, these are, you know, it's kind of, again, locally made. Um, but one of the other, yeah, sorry, walking around here. No, it's all good. So we have these these line gauges to to to, to measure exactly. Um, so one inch is equal to six picas, which is equal to seventy two points. So everything kind of converges on the inch. Um, we made these when I was at Wells. Um, we it, it was having students help out, and they you know were having trouble figuring out like what size. What size is this is this type so we made this based on the tools that existed but nobody you couldn't find them anywhere they're really hard to find so we made a laser cut version where you can tell that right away this is 18 point hmm. so we've just um made these and sold a whole bunch of these um and decided that acrylic maybe wasn't all that strong so fast forward to sorry these just came in yesterday just came in yesterday yeah Oh, we're really going deep here. Going deep. So these just came in yesterday. So we have a, a stainless steel version of that tool. So the prototype was made with laser cut and acrylic. And so now we have this tool that uh, isn't even offered for sale yet because we just got them in. Very exciting. Um, so yeah, we're hope we will. We have a, a thousand of them. So I hope, uh, hope the world wants them. Uh, <laughs> we, we think that other print shops, uh, you know, this might be... It's hard to say how many of these shops. Like in Rochester, there's probably... A half dozen what we call shops. So one person who's doing maybe wedding invitations. There's there's wow. quite a few people who work out of the the Flower City Center. Mm -hmm. um, but um, in every city, there's there's people doing this. Again, most letterpress printers are doing high end wedding invitations, uh, bespoke business cards. Um, maybe a famous scene in American Psycho about. Oh yes, cards. there is. Yes, there <laughs> is. Bateman. So this is our this is our shipping room. We actually are working. Also, we are <laughs> we are offering metal type for sale. This type is cast in Scanny Atlas by Michael and Winifred Bixler, and they've been making type for fifty years. They're RIT grads who have been doing fine typography uh, pre digital. They were the if you want the finest typography you could get was handset metal, and they they still have clients to this day who hire them to do um, uh, just beautiful typography for wow. that that hand so in the the printing if you can you know the slightest impression where you run your hand across the paper you can actually feel the uh the impression of the paper so we are definitely getting deeper into what p22 is offering as opposed to just um a download so um let's see our library again ranges quite a bit from i mean we're still organizing but here you have some little little magazines produced by the Roy Croft, and you can wow. see there's some acidic paper. It's definitely seen better days. There's a Gillette ad, wow. um, and right next to that is our uh, Adobe Creative Suite three, which is still <laughs> a pretty good version to use. Fontographer, which is the first um, type design software we use. We now use uh, uh, Font Lab and Glyphs, and there's there's actually commercially available software. So anybody could make a font in theory right right and like all you these said tools are available it's, it's right. comes down to time 
and uh, a lot of dedication and, and uh, patience, patience, patience. Um, but 